Kelsey, welcome to my channel. Uh, I thought I'd share a fall haul with you today. This is everything I picked up over the past month or so, I'd say, since the fall things have been rolling in and almost rolling out, what seems like now that I'm starting to see empty shelves. Um, so I have a few different stores, Target and at home and Hobby Lobby and Home Goods, and then like a few other random things from random places. Um, but I'm a stay at home mom, so I love to obviously spend time with my kids, but make my house a wonderful place to be and see so I thought I'd share it with you guys so hopefully I can do some other videos in the future we'll see it's hard with two little kids um, but let me show you what I got so we'll start with Target um, let's see because I think I have the most things from Target actually um, let's start with these pillows so this pillow I think everything's from either the Target dollar spot or the threshold brand I didn't see it's been a while since I've actually looked surprisingly in like the hearth and hand and all that section. I mostly just grab stuff from the dollar section. So that's right when you walk in the door. Um, anyways, this pillow was $5 from the dollar section. I really like the tassels, but I love the bright pop of orange. So this will probably end up sitting on our accent chair in our living room, which I'm hopefully going to be able to show you, or your couch. But I thought it was cute. You couldn't pass it up. And then I have one more pillow, and it's this white one, also $5 with the embroidered pumpkin that's gonna be great and then of course the pumpkin so these are all dollar spot this was three dollars and it's got the green like plaid look all over it the soft this is very much like my vibe this is what I'm kind of going for the neutrals with the pop of color and then I have a few more these were a dollar each and these are cute I think just to, like toss on a little shelf or somewhere in a you know little nook and cranny where you can make it more festive this one was also a dollar and it has like gold top, the twine to make it look like a pumpkin. This one was three, but I really liked the texture of this. Very fun. And the best part about all of these is if, you know, your two year old boy toddler breaks a pumpkin, it's not a big deal because it was a dollar. And this is more Thanksgiving, but I thought he was too cute to pass up. How cute is that? He was. Yeah, three dollars made out of like felt. How fun! And I have three little candles. So this first one is the little. I've actually already burned this one because it smells really good. They all smell actually fairly similar, but this is three dollars in the dollar spot. I think I have two of these. I bought two of these, but I don't know what the other one's at, so it'll show up eventually. And then this one says, "Hey there, pumpkin." Also three dollars. This one's a little bit more subtle on the pumpkin than the cream colored one. And this one was $5. This is the threshold. Threshold brand and it's got like that section to keep it fresh. Um, and this one, I don't know if it has a name. Oh, just pumpkin spice. Okay, I also bought these clings from Target because my son is obsessed with them. He loves the window markers and he loves the stickers and stickies you can put on the on the door or on the window. We have a big window right here over to my right and help yeah, I love that a lot. And then I love these little signs, which I have lots of these little signs, but I just can't get enough. Um, these are both a dollar. The window clings were also a dollar. So that side says autumn leaves and pumpkins please and I like that orange. But I think this will be very cute. I have some like built in shelves in my kitchen. They're like in the corner and they have doors on them, but I think you'd still be able to see them. The pumpkin pie one, I think I like the best. And then I like this little cutting board. It's kind of my aesthetic is the cutting boards, eat together, live thankfully, gather often. A little bit more Thanksgiving. I could wait and put this out, but we'll see how far I get. Um, and then I just couldn't leave this behind. $5 in the dollar spot, Target basket. Looks like a pumpkin. I can fill it with my little pumpkins I have bought. Pumpkins and pumpkins, you know? <laughs> I think that's it for Target. 
Um, I'll do my one thing for Michael's. I wasn't very impressed with Michael's decor. Also, the Michael's near me just isn't like my, it doesn't have everything. It's kind of a smaller one. So when I go in there to look for decor, they don't have a ton, I don't know. And then just with everything and prices going up, I haven't been very impressed with their prices enough for me to want to splurge or buy anything. But I found this $3 candle. It's just cinnamon spice is what it says, which really, you could burn any time of the year. It doesn't have to be full. I don't think, nope, it doesn't have a description, but I mean, cinnamon spice is fairly self-explanatory. Okay, I have two things from Kirkland's. This bag of pumpkins, um, I think they've had like the discount for 15% off fall stuff for a while. Uh, I love Kirkland's decor, but I'm a heavy hitter on trying to get a good deal. So if I don't feel like it's worth it to me, I'll either wait and I'm like, well, let's see if it goes on a better price or whatever. So this is 15, then $15 and then 15% off. Again, with the little pumpkins, I love it. I love a good like dough bowl or tray with pumpkins and other random things. And then I love the dried floral, which you can get dried floral at a couple of different places. I thought $13 with, I mean, it ended up being like 10 bucks, which isn't a bad deal to me. But you just gotta be careful because it's very messy, very messy. Don't let little hands get all over it. We can do home goods next. So with home goods or TJ Maxx, I mean, they're kind of interchangeably. Um, so I have been really wanting to do a, expand my Ray Dunn collection because I'm really into it. And I know some people are like, well, it's starting to go out of style, but not for me. So I bought two, four, six of these mugs. Um, so this one says, give thanks. I like the color inside. I recently just hung a mug rack up in my kitchen. It has a little picture, which I like. I like the plain ones that just have the words, but I also like the ones that have this graphic on them. I think it is more fun. And they'll hang in my kitchen like this, so you won't always see this. And I'm a big coffee drinker, but my husband is not. He likes hot chocolate, but he'll still use the mugs to drink hot chocolate. So this is more how obviously Halloween. It says Happy Halloween, but I love the little pumpkins across it. So all these, I think, I think it's standard for them to be $6.99. Most of them just normal like this are $6.99. Happy Halloween. And then this one says boo with egg, acorns, not acorns, candy corn. Tell me, are you team, team candy corn? I am team candy corn. My husband is not. So that's unfortunate for him. Uh, trick or treat, which after I bought this, I was like, ooh, I think I already have that, but that's okay. And it has the pumpkins on the back. I think these all like have something on the back. And then this one says, happy fall. This might, this is tied with the top two that I, are my favorite. I don't know why I'm showing you that for so long. Obviously you can read. And then Wicked Witch. I really like this. I've been, I was saying this earlier to my mom. I've been more into the uh, Halloween decor this year. I don't know if it's just because I like the cutesy stuff or what it is. Um, so I got six of those, which I know I, I have a couple, like literally maybe two or three so like I'm set on that side of things I don't need anymore um but I just love the Ray Dunn mugs and I think they're a functional way of adding decor into your house which I'm always all about and then I these this was a Q lane grab definitely the fallen in love orange I thought they were very pretty I might have to grab some new a new base towel and then hang this over it if that makes sense so like have a towel you can actually use and then put this one on there for decor but i have a bathroom in my basement which is where i'm at right now and then one of our main level main living area so i might do one in each we'll see and then i usually don't buy pumpkins from home goods because usually you can find the exact same thing at like hobby lobby or i mean even target for half the price but I liked the texture of this one. 10 bucks, 99, that's not bad. Not bad, but I thought it was cute. The stem was chunkier than what you usually see. I was actually very impressed with Joanne's decor this year, but when I went, they just didn't have a ton out. Um, and I just haven't been back, which is funny because I live very close to a Joanne's. So there, I think it's still 40% off, but it was 40% off when I bought this and it was 25, so whatever that makes it, 10, 12-ish. But I like the texture of this, like the sweater almost. Very fun and soft and not breakable. <laughs> That's a theme you'll notice here. I picked up these actually from Ikea, just these two basic pillow covers. 
and the orange. So I'm gonna keep, I have four pillows on my couch upstairs now, but I'm gonna trade these two out and then keep two, you'll see when I show you eventually. Okay, let's do these two home at home items quickly. Um, at home also, I feel like it's just kind of the same stuff as I've seen. I wasn't super, it was nice. Like it was fun to just have stuff that is either super similar or the exact same thing. And I just didn't need anything. And actually I just went, so today's the 30th of August and I just went either Sunday or Monday. And they were down to like two big like tables if you've ever been in that home console things uh when you walk in the front door and that was it for full stuff they were already putting out christmas stuff and had some christmas aisles like half stocked so there wasn't too much to look at really by the time i went there um this throw i bought it in two different colors because i loved it that much so it has the pumpkins embroidered on it which i just like fell in love i fell in love with this one obviously you can see it's 15 dollars, but then i was like gosh i really want that orange i think this one will end up on our master our master bed our bed <laughs> And then this one will end up in our living room, like on our couch, probably. So not a bad deal. Okay, let's move on to Hobby Lobby. Um, I went like at the right time. Oh, just kidding. One more thing from at home. I bought this a couple weeks ago before I just went the other day. And it's a little Hocus Pocus, shines the light. My son and daughter really are obsessed. She's almost six months old. So anything with light she likes but this was 17 and we had we got what actually had had one from christmas time and it broke because it was my fault there were beds being moved and it was under her bed and it got squished i really didn't buy a ton let me do the couple things i bought from the spring shop that i have plans to use for the fall ish area time of year whatever you get what i'm saying um, so I'm pretty sure when I bought these, they were 90% off. So like this was $4. So it ended up being cents, pennies, you know, um, it is chipped in a few different spots. But my thought is if I set a pumpkin on it, it gives me some dimension on it. Whoa. On a tear tray. <laughs> oh, that's my thought process. And obviously I can use it in the spring, which is what will probably end up happening. These two mugs, also spring shop, $6, like these might have been 75% off when I bought them, which I get the spring vibes, but also fall vibes, you know? So obviously not redone, but very, very cute. Very practical. They kind of are cute, even stacked like this. We'll see where they go. I'm gonna grab these, because I'm hoping to be able to do some crafts. So my son's two, so like not quite at the age of being able to do beaded things by himself. He's a choking hazard, but he likes very intricate things if that makes sense like if i show him how to put these beads on here he will become obsessed with it i almost i just and i know he will and then he loves to color so i grabbed just these little pumpkin cardstock so these were two bucks and then i think the half off or 40 percent um and this was five either so i'm gonna end up being a couple bucks so for my daughter's room, um, which I usually don't like go like all out and well, I guess like Christmas time, I put Christmas tree up in my son's room last year, but the pink just got me and I obviously have only had a son up until the past six months. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get these pink pumpkins. They're so cute. And we'll see where these all end up. I, I don't know if I'll put them all in her room, if I'll put them in a little bowl in her room, we'll see. Cause I also bought her, oh, those are, those are 13 and I think 40% off is when I bought most of this stuff. And I also picked up the cheetah pumpkin because I really loved it. 18 and then on sale. But how cute. Cheetah and the black stem. This is breakable so this will definitely have to be like up on a dresser or a higher shelf but we'll see. She's not like quite, obviously she's almost six months. She's not, she's not crawling yet and she's not walking so. Um, another, <clears throat> the Robert Stanley collection always gets me at Hobby Lobby. This was 16, but very, very pretty. And I figured, I actually wondered if you could open this to stick anything in it, but if not, it's very cute by itself. I like the metal, not breakable, you know, or it could be breakable, but it'd be, it'd be pretty strong. Um, so this one was a little pricier. This was 20. 
so that makes it like 12 or 10 I think it's probably 12 I bought it 40% off and I should be set on pumpkins I have a lot of pumpkins and I'm like pretty sure I already have this pumpkin but maybe in a bigger size from last year this one was 10 but it's not heavy it's like that it's almost like styrofoamy but I like the top on this one and then I grabbed one of these little velvet green this was five and then on sale but I can put this on a lower shelf and it won't get broken the theme of my life and then I grabbed this tray 12 bucks I thought that was a steal mostly because you could use this all year round this is definitely not fall oriented and I host a lot of my family's get-togethers <clears throat> because I have the room for it really is the biggest reason um, but I'm thinking like any kind of food or I could lay out silverware on here or or I could use it for decor and sit on my dining room table but my dining room table is brown. I don't know. We'll see where it ends up. But it will definitely, it's going to, that, see that's the thing that I bought that's more, can be more useful than decorative. And then I bought this little pitcher and I, for the life of me, can't remember if this was in the spring shop or if this was in the fall. I think it was fall and it was probably around 10 or $12 if I were guessing after the sale. But I have these um, dried florals sitting in here. But all this time, and once I unwrap them, they'll be pretty. Pretty in there. Oh, and then I left the best for last. Picked this up at Home Goods the other day. Um, 25. Okay, so I think that's it for all my decor for fall. Um, I'm hoping to do a decorate with me soon. Or... I might try to like go through my fall decor first with you guys. We'll see what turns out because that could be a long video. I have like four or five toads of fall decor and I'm probably going to purge some stuff because I know that there's just stuff that's not quite my aesthetic anymore. Um, okay guys, that's it Thank for my fall haul. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you subscribe so I, it motivates me to make more videos because I would love to make videos and show you my home and my ideas and my life, I think would be fun. Um, I hope this inspired you to maybe start thinking about getting your fall decorations out or go shopping for fall, for some fall things. So I appreciate your time watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.